So I didn't know I was going to enjoy civil engineering when I out of high school. Um, I knew I liked math. I knew I liked building things. Um, so one of my advisors had told me, hey, you might like civil engineering. Um, and so I would say that if you enjoy being outside a little bit, if you enjoy math, you enjoy you know, seeing things come to fruition, that's kind of would be some clues to help you understand that civil engineering might be for you. Uh, so I'd always been really passionate about the environment, water, sanitation, um, and I always liked math and science classes. And so I found this career to be an environmental engineer, um, which sort of took my academic interests and as well as my passions and then combined them into a job. I really like um, the stormwater side of land development because it's kind of a mixture of like the gray, like the concrete, the riser boxes, the um, outlet barrels, like the concrete side, and then it's also the green side. So there's green infrastructure, there's how you manage the plantings of stormwater control measures, there's all sorts of different swales and different technologies that incorporate um, just like multifaceted approaches to engineering and not just concrete and conduit. I thought it was super interesting because it combines not only civil engineering and structural engineering, but a biology component because there's plants that you have to select to go in our systems, soil conditions that you have to be aware of. I'm really fascinated with water and how water moves, so. This program is more hands-on than a four-year um, program would be. Uh, we have a lot of classes that where we are actually in the lab doing certification tests. Um, we have GIS and GPS equipment that we're able to take out in the field. Our civil engineering students have a lot of survey classes where they have a lot of field work outside doing boundary surveys, topo surveys, things like that. Geomatics gets into some of the GIS program, which really helps with pre-construction. Um, we can scope out our job sites a lot. And really, the civil engineering program itself just encompassed a lot of different knowledge bases that I would need. It didn't go extremely deep into any of them, but it got me kind of the inch deep and mile wide knowledge base I needed to get into the industry. I really enjoy the CAD work, the CAD aspect of it, and taking an engineer's designs and turning it into a drawing that will be used to, to build it in the field. I learned about the AutoCAD software, uh, how certain layouts need to be for certain job sites. Example, as I said, some sites may be on a hill and we need three or four retaining walls or some sites are flat and it may be wetlands on half of the site and we just have to figure out how to be able to work around that for the client or the developer, whoever's, whoever's in need. We're encouraged and required to go to the Wake Tech Job Fair and I actually gained employment uh, through the job fair program with Harris Rebar in Benson, North Carolina. And I worked with them for nine months um, as kind of a draftsman and uh, a rebar technician. And so what I was doing was quantifying um, and designing the reinforcing bar for these concrete structures all over the Raleigh area. Usually the end of February every year where we have Somewhere between 30 and 40 local companies come in talk, and they talk to our students about the types of jobs that they do and um, most of them are hiring. Uh, so the job market is very strong for civil engineering and, and geomatic students right now. My favorite part is how like rewarding it can be. And so we essentially ensure that there's infrastructure in place for clean water conveyance and wastewater management. Without those things, society wouldn't be able to run smoothly. And so it's pretty cool to be part of the group of people sort of behind the scenes making that happen uh, because clean water and wastewater uh, is sort of taken for granted in society.